Today's tutorial is going to be on doing some digital workbooks. A lot of the publishers are now offering their workbooks in PDF format. So all you need to do is download it and then when, you're da when you download the PDF it'll ask you which app you want to open it in. And you're going to open it in Type on PDF. Once you go into Type on PDF it'll have this uh, menu on this side which gives you your different unit studies or workbooks that you can pick from. So I'm going to be using a sample from Critical Thinking Company's sampler ebook. And this one is working with capitalization and it goes over what things need to be capitalized, what words need to be capitalized, and then you go down to the bottom and it asks you to circle the 16 words that need to be capitalized. So what you're going to do is you're going to go up to the top and there's an icon that is a pencil here and you're going to pick a color and then you use it just like a pencil and you would go through and circle the words that need to be capitalized. Pretty simple just like a regular pencil and they just complete their workbook pages like this. You know they they also have a highlighter which is kind of nice so if if they're doing something that they want to highlight they can highlight the different words there's also this is an eraser so they can erase what they've been doing um, in different colors of the pencil so let's look at a different page that needs to have oh here's one where they would actually be drawing so this kind of gives you an idea of what different things you can use with these workbooking pages. So if the student is student is wanting to finish the picture, it's really quite simple. They can just finish the picture just like they would with a regular pencil. My picture's not so great, but you get the idea. Alright, so let's look for one where we need to be doing some fill in the blanks. I have all sorts of different ones. Alright, so this particular one is wanting for us to explain the exceptions. So each group of words contains one member that is an exception to the class. On the lines under the group, explain how the similar words are alike and how the exception is different. So what you would want to do in order to type is you're going to go up to this icon that looks like a little A and you're going to come down and just tap where you want it to be and it's going to give you a word box. And with this word box you can move it on the line and then you would simply begin to type. Like so. Now if you want to move this around you just move it where you want it also allows you to change the font size, so if you need to have smaller font size to fit in a blank, you simply make it smaller or larger. Now sometimes there are, there are different uh, blanks where you have multiple blanks on the same line. So what you do is you type your answer, and then you come up to this little arrow and you push the arrow and it makes you another word box that's on the same line. So that way they don't have to be lining up their type boxes over and over and over again. Um, then if you want to go down to the next line you would just push the little return button and then this one's actually going up because that's where other word box is. But anyhow it'll actually go down and then you can make um, I'm not sure why it's doing that. There we go. So you, you just press return and it goes down to the line below it. All right. Now, if you want to be writing like a paragraph, the way you would do that is once again you go up to your little A icon and then you're going to take your stylus and hold it down until it says text box. And then with that, you're going to draw the text box to the size that you want. And from here, you can just type 
like a regular paragraph. And then when you hit return with this one, it just goes down like a paragraphing normally would. So <clears throat> this is basically how you would fill out your different workbooks. Um, the thing that's really nice about this is it's yet another um, curriculum piece that you can have on your iPad. Come straight from the publisher, super simple. Everything's on the iPad. You don't have to have multiple workbooks multiple teaching aids, it's all right. On your iPad, you can give the kid their iPod, their stylus, and they're out the door to doing mobile homeschooling. I hope you enjoyed this and have a wonderful afternoon.